From class time to combat training, the Oklahoma Department of Corrections Cadet Academy is not for the timid. But this grueling six-week course is easier when your best friend is right by your side for encouragement. Yeah, I, I definitely couldn't have made it without her being there. She was my support. She was my rock. It was amazing, honestly. I, I don't know if I could have done it without him because he pushed me every time I felt like I wanted to give up. Adriana and Matthew are more than friends. They are also husband and wife. The duo were among DOC's most recent batch of graduates. We had to maintain our posture, maintain our professionalism, and after that we were able to congratulate each other. But inside you were hooping and hollering, right? Yep, we did it. <laughs> Matthew was now assigned to Oklahoma State Penitentiary. There's these guys in here now, they're, they're pretty much my second family. Like they're, they're watching out for me. Adriana works only a few hundred yards away at Jackie Brannon. I feel like he worries more about me. <laughs> I, I know he can handle his own. The couple is close enough to eavesdrop. <laughs> so I get to hear him on the radio every now and then, and he gets to hear me on the radio. <laughs> Joining the agency just seemed like the logical career path. Matthew's mother-in-law is a DOC lieutenant. I have to get used to not calling her mom every time I see her. <laughs> the couple call their new career a bounty of blessings, and they encourage others looking for a new opportunity to consider joining the DOC family. Definitely, just give it a shot because you never know. There's some guys in here that said they were leaving after a year, but they've been here for 25. So you never know, just give it a shot. And uh, who knows, you might be the love of your life, right? Right, right, absolutely.